The human brain is the result of an unbroken chain of evolution from the earliest forms of life. We rely on memory every day. We call upon it for information to help us find our way, work, and socialize. But with Alzheimer's disease, something happens to our memory, like it's getting slower and then giving up more and more. In the final stages, it can be difficult to distinguish between day and night and who is family or a stranger. The question is whether this is just the luck of the draw who will suffer from Alzheimer's disease and if we ourselves are powerless once afflicted. Roman Szydlowski fell in love with Bridge as a 16-year-old in Poland, a love that has lasted a lifetime. But 10 years ago, he noticed that something had changed. In Alzheimer's disease, the cells of the brain dissolve. This usually begins in the area around the hippocampus, an important part of the brain for storing memories. The disease can then spread further. Why exactly the brain cells die, we do not know. But what can be seen is the formation of clumps at the nerve fibers. These clumps are made up of amyloid plaques that have become entangled. They shouldn't be there. The protein tau also accumulates in a brain with Alzheimer's and forms threads, preventing nutrients from reaching the nerve cells and likely contributing to cell death. I always uh, positive manage, I think, you know, I mean, you can hear something good. We, we never even did their utveckling or so pass food. At can some tea or them hit our boot medal. Or you're true foot for under them hit our snart. Today, approximately 100,000 people in Sweden are affected by Alzheimer's disease. One of the researchers working to reduce this number is Dr. Mia Kivipelto. When I started to study Alzheimer's disease more than 20 years ago, it was only high age and genetic factors which were behind Alzheimer's disease, so it created quite fatalistic attitude. Hey, Roman. Hey, Mia. Trevlit a trefasigel. Trevlit. And then we started to study all modifiable lifestyle-related factors and the question, can you prevent or can you postpone Alzheimer's disease? Sen tänkte jag att eh, jag gör en sån här eh, kort minnestest. Jag kommer att säga tre ord som du ska upprepa efter jag har sagt dem. Och jag kommer också att fråga dig om orden senare så att du ska försöka komma ihåg dem. Det kan jag säga direkt att jag glömmer. Så jag ska säga till dig tre ord. Hotell, banan och mynt. Du får upprepa dem nu. Hotel, banan och mynt. Tack. Och jag kommer fråga dem igen och om en stund. In several studies, Mia Kivipelto has seen that at least 30 to 40 percent of Alzheimer's is linked to lifestyle factors and other factors that can be influenced. And that with changes in lifestyle, we can reduce the risk of suffering from this disease. Now she's looking to see if lifestyle changes such as physical activity can help those who have already contracted Alzheimer's. Och det vi ska göra det är att du ska få komma ner mot sittande och så resa dig hastigt upp. Ner och hastigt upp. 
Participants in the study have mild Alzheimer's disease like Roman. But Mia Kivipelto's research is not only about the effects of individual lifestyle changes, such as exercise. It's about a whole package. Through exercising several times a week, keeping track of, among other things, blood pressure, diabetes, and obesity, eating the right foods, and engaging in social activities, and brain exercises, the hope is that the progression of this disease will be slowed down. Sen frågar jag, kan du komma ihåg de tre orden som jag säger? banan mint. Bra. Sista uppgift jag har idag är att rita. We do not know yet how much you can stop or delay the disease process with the lifestyle interventions when you already have Alzheimer's disease. But what we know now from our patients who have been part of the study is that they are feeling much better and the functional level is improving, which is very positive results. Och allt det här som är rött här, det är liksom substansförlust, det här saknas ja, volymer. Ja, och när vi tittar på mediala temporallumen så ser vi där också då att det också är någonting på gång där. Mm, precis. Och det här... Alzheimer's disease is complex with many different so-called subtypes. We have earlier been putting it together as a one disease, but now we know that there may be different subgroups and there are different persons who may get benefit from one kind of treatment and others may need something else. So we need to be more tailor-made in our strategies. Through personal lifestyle packages, wherein, for example, sleep recommendations and stress management can be added, when sleep is a risk factor, or new drugs. The idea is that Alzheimer's patients should be able to maximize their active years, slow down cell death, and continue to recognize their closest loved ones. Everything we can do to slow down the disease process will have a huge impact on the patient, caregivers, and the whole society. Today, it has been 10 years since Roman's memory began to change, and since he was told that he has incipient Alzheimer's. He has changed his lifestyle to try to slow down the progression of the disease. He trains every weekday, but not as many hours as he spends playing bridge. Ungefär tre, fyra timmar per dag spelar jag bridge. Och bara inte glömma att du vänder på dem nu.